All right, everyone, so today I'm gonna go over a huge lift, the squat, and I'm gonna demonstrate it with a box squat, so I'm gonna go over a couple nuances. Everything that you do today, that I do, that I'm gonna show you, that you could take with you to the gym today, yes, you can use on a box, but to do it without the box, you literally just have to move the box away, and I'll also talk about that, it's very simple. Um, we're gonna start from the feet up, and I'm gonna show you how I want you to be. I'm also gonna talk you through how I want you to look and feel when you're lifting. So the big thing for squatting is you gotta drive from your heels. Now, a lot of people, a lot of younger kids especially, they end up becoming a little bit inflexible. So you're talking the 15 to 18 age range. You're sitting 90 degrees in class all day. You're sitting 90 degrees when you're driving on the bus or driving in your car. And even, especially for people who work. So the big thing is don't, don't fight that, don't fight your inflexibility, obviously work on it, but understand a very simple thing that you could do is opening up your feet, pointing your toes out instead of letting your knees just cave on top of your toes. Because once your knees go over your toes, all the tension's gonna go right underneath your kneecap and that's when the swelling comes, that's when you get away from squatting and you say you weren't made for it, your body type wasn't made for it, it hurts too much. So the big thing is opening up your feet and allowing yourself to drive from that heel to squat up. The next big thing is that when you're squatting, I want you to act like there's a band around your hip and a band around both of your knees that are pulling you back. Again, opening up your feet is gonna really, really help this, but you don't just wanna cave. So even without putting weight on my back, I don't just wanna cave when I squat and kinda just let my body compress like a little spring. What I wanna do is open up and sit back, so I wanna get my hips back again. My low back and my core are tight, that's the next one that I was gonna talk about, but my knees are gonna end up coming forward and my hips are gonna go back just like this and I'm gonna sit back. Again, I don't wanna cave on myself and I'll demonstrate that with the bar on my back. Now the next thing is the chest. So again, I can't do anything caved, no athletic position is ever developed with this motion. So even when I get underneath the bar, I need to be proud, I need my chest up, and I need to be looking up. I don't wanna be looking up like this, because once my neck goes up, then all the strain is gonna go here, okay? So that's where different types of strains happen. But again, look straight ahead. Even I, when, when I squat, I'm gonna pick a spot about a foot in front of me and look down, because I wanna keep a neutral spine. So my neutral spine is in if there's a, a pool stick going up my back right now, I would want that pool stick to hit most of my head, just like this. So I wanna keep this in line. So right now, this is a neutral spine. Neutral spine, neutral spine. Okay, so my head follows wherever my back is. What I don't wanna happen is this. And we'll go over this with deadlifts, and we're gonna go over this with squats right now. I don't want this, this is just strenuous. So I'm gonna bring this box in, the big thing for all squats is control. I understand everybody wants to put plates on, they wanna see the, the plates rack up, that's fine. Work up to that, okay? Everything starts with one single plate or even less, it's fine depending on the age that you're at. So I'm gonna bring this box in. The big thing is I want my hip line to almost hit parallel with my knee. So for this box right here, you can see my knee line is pretty much right in line with my hip, okay? Once you get to the point where, imagine there were mats under here and if I sat, this is where I was at, this is not efficient. This is a, this is a very, very big quarter squat. Quarter squat as in, this is a full squat, this is probably a quarter of the way down. So again, knee line parallel with my hip line. Same thing if the box wasn't here, guys, I would wanna hit a point where I get here, where my, where my hip line is right with my knees, and then I can stand up. So you can see even when I demonstrated that, my posture and everything. So right now I'm gonna bring this box in. I'm gonna imagine eggshells. I'm gonna think eggshells the whole time. I wanna go down slowly, and let's imagine this is memory foam or something, and there's eggshells underneath this. We can't let those crack. So you'll see when I go down, I'm not gonna plop like this last second. I'm gonna go down smoothly, and if I rock back a little bit, it's not gonna be past 90 degree angle between my thigh and my core. So I'll deactivate the glutes like this and then stand up. So I'm gonna show you five good reps of this demonstration of everything that I just talked about. I'll get my hands on the bar, a little bit wider than shoulder width, and again, 
I like that elbow to wrist range if you watch the bench videos yet. So my, my elbows are gonna be under my wrist to support this, to push up with me. Okay, so right now, wide stance, my feet are out, my toes are out, I'm eggshell the whole way, and I'm standing up. Slow. You can see my glutes deactivate at the bottom. So you see from when I sit, I kind of sink a little bit. And honestly, I'm not the best at counting reps. So if that was four or five, I'm not 100% sure. But that's the principle. Now, if I would move this box away, the same exact thing happens. I'll get underneath the weight and I'll do the same exact thing, but I'm the one that makes that change of direction. So I initiate that. So when I drop, it just means more focus for me. So I'll walk this back and here I drop and I'm up. Here, control, three, I'll count this time. Here's four. And there's five. Again, guys, drop the weight, go for reps, go for tension, but also just go for straight up control. There's no reason that you should be throwing weight, coming up on your toes. The last thing that I want is for you guys to go to the gym and do everything correctly, but get that tension on your knees. So again, open up those feet. Very simple, it's a rule of thumb. Drive those heels into the ground squat up. So I hope this gets your squat up. I hope this helps you guys out. Thank you for watching.